everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, my name is Lisa, obviously, because my channel is called Lisa I, but anyway, today's video is so exciting because it's with my good friend here on YouTube, her name is My New Obsession, or Donna, hey girl, um, so we decided we wanted to do a collab video, and it's so exciting because Donna is so funny, you guys, okay. <laughs> She posted um, a get ready with me, a really chatty one. When I'm talking really chatty, she uploaded a 40 freaking minute video of her doing her makeup and telling us all about her Florida trip. And when I tell you that I laughed the entire time, I <laughs> was laughing out loud. She has the best personality. I love hearing her talk about her experiences and all of that. It's she is so funny. You guys will love her. Not only that, but her makeup is on point. Um, I love watching her get ready with me. She's so, like, knowledgeable about a lot of different kinds of makeup that I haven't tried. So that's really exciting. And she does a lot of subscription boxes. She does Ipsy, BoxyCharm, obviously. And um, I think she just did Fab Fit Fun. She also does a lot of hauls. And... Those are so funny too. The way she like talks about her experience with buying makeup and like trying new makeup, it's just, it's a lot of fun and you can tell her passion behind it which is really important to me um, as a makeup lover as well. So um, today's video we decided we wanted to do a collab obviously and we're going to use the items in our boxy charm for um, June. I almost forgot what month it was for a second there. <laughs> um, and one of the most exciting things that we got, and usually it is the most exciting thing, is the palette. We usually get a palette, I think. Maybe? I'm not sure. I only joined BoxyCharm like four months ago-ish, so this is my fourth or fifth box. Um, she's been on BoxyCharm for like a year, I think, at this point. Um, but this is the Olivar Cosmetics palette. This was created by Kathleen Blights' makeup artist, who is Gabby, and they're friends. And, um, when I first saw it, I was immediately like, oh my god, it's beautiful, but wait, doesn't that look like Kathleen Blights' palette? Well, I have Kathleen Blights' palette, too, and I did do comparison swatches on my Instagram, which I will list uh, the picture on the screen for you to see those comparisons, but just as a side-by-side, -side, I mean, in the pan they look identical, but when you swatch the palettes, they look absolutely nothing alike. So I just want to throw that out there. Uh, the blues were really, in this palette, what looked very, very similar to the blues in this palette. This palette, the All of Our Cosmetics palette, is the quality of a dubious place, and I'm not even kidding you on that. Um, Kathleen Lights' ColourPop palette, they're a little bit softer, but they're still metallic, um, but these are just way more intense. You'll see in my application, like, I don't have to go over them again. It's incredible. Yes, I did start my eye look. I had to practice to see what kind of look I wanted to go for. I wanted to match this shirt. I wore this shirt today because I knew there were some blues and greens in here that I wanted to use. Don't forget to go check out Donna's look because she did an awesome look. She gave me a little preview and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Go check it out. Um, and if you want to see how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. So I already primed my eyes. I've been using, I've started to use the MAC Cosmetics um, Painterly Pink Pot. I've had this for a while, but I really wanted to finish using my other primer, which was the Benefit Stay Don't Stray, which I really, really didn't like, so I'm really glad that's out of my collection. But I brought this in, and I also have a NYX Jumbo Pencil for primer, so I'm set on primers. I don't need to buy any more. So, let's get into it. Off, right? I've got my coffee here, which if you're new to my channel, which this should be because you came from Donna's channel, right? Right? Am I right? Anyway, if you're new, then you don't know how much I love coffee, and you don't know that I drink coffee in pretty much every one of my get ready with me's. It's just like a given, it's tradition, there you go, you should have a cup of coffee with me. Let's do it. Alright, so, I'm gonna jump right in. And I think I actually am going to zoom you in. 
Alright, so this is the eye look, by the way. We're gonna do this eye. And I'm gonna start by going into. Okay, me and Donna, we did the same crease, <laughs> which is really funny, like the exact same crease. Um, I'm gonna start with Coco Taxi right here. And normally, well, and now, I don't typically reach for these orange soda kind of colors just because, I don't know, I don't really think they look that good on me. I like a deeper brown crease, typically. Um, but, we'll make it work. And it, you know, if you build it, it tends to look more deep, so that's good. And we are definitely going to build it. to tro Tropico. I am not Spanish, so I don't know how to speak it <laughs> very well. It's this redder color, and then we're gonna go into that one, and that's literally what she did as well, but I'm doing different colors on the lid. Do this in the crease, so that other color was more of a transition color. To make this one go on a little bit more smooth. Although these mattes are like way better than the Juvia's Place palette. I know I compared it to that, and I sort of did that because the shimmers and metallics are very similar, but the mattes in the Alamar palette are very, very buttery and so easy to blend out. And whereas with the Juvia's Place mattes, I feel like they're a little bit drier, a little bit stiffer, and you definitely have to work at it a little bit more. But the color payoff in the Juvia's Place and the Alamar palettes are like spot on. And did any of you guys notice that on the back of the Alamar Cosmetics palette, it says volume one. So does that mean she's coming out with volume two? Because if so, I'm going to be so on top of that. Like, not, I'm going to be like, I'm going to buy that the first time I see it, pretty much. Okay, so that's the crease. And as you can see, I did lose a little bit of that orange color here. So I'm just going to reapply just a little bit. I also lost another color. So now that we have the crease done, I just want to blend that out just a little bit. Not that it really needs to because it kind of blended itself out, which is amazing. So we're going to go into, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that one. It's this pinkier, redder color right there. That's going to go in the outer V area and upper crease. So I'm using a fluffy brush still. Normally, I don't do my eye makeup this way, but I figured it's pretty easy doing it this way, so we're just going to go with it. All the colors are very similar, so it's not like I need to go switching brushes or anything like that. By the way, this is the uh, M433 brush by Morphe that I use in my crease, um, and apparently my outer V as well. And I'm gonna go into Vari... Varadero? Yeah, Varadero. Apparently it means, like, water, I think. Nope, 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 it doesn't. There was a rain droplet next to it, but <laughs> it is for all of them, so. Anyway, it's this really gorgeous blue, and wait until you see how well this applies, because you're gonna flip out. <laughs> I cannot believe the quality. Is that my brother leaving? Anyway, uh, the quality on this shadow right here on all of these shadows it is incredible i mean absolutely amazing definitely gonna have to reapply that maroon color shade but on the inner part if you can see it's like green ish and then bluish i need to reapply that actually Celia now, right here, 
and we're gonna put that on the inner part. We it's sort of like a tri-fold color situation going on. All right, I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm gonna go in with the E45 from Sigma. It's a tapered blending brush, and I'm gonna fix the outer V a little bit. That was weird, no color came off. There we go. We're going to blend. or something I don't know but I'm gonna just go with it and see what happens I think maybe just those shadows the orange the deeper orange and the red are just too similar that it kind of just made a brown shade but maybe once I put the rest of my face on like everything will look okay but what I am gonna do is reapply the blue shade To the other palette that we got in our boxy charm last month, month or the month before, and we're just gonna use the matte cream in the palette. This palette I don't like because you have to work extra, extra hard, and there's not many crease options, and it's just annoying. Oh, that seems to brighten things up. This brush, actually, we got in our boxy charm as well. I think in the same month as the palette. This, oh my god, this palette. Did anybody hear that or see me drop that? <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is do my face, get back to you guys, and finish up our makeup. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, I'm back. I got face on, I got brows on, I got mascara on, I just wanted to point out that I did you That was terrifying. That I did use the pretty vulgar liner that we got in our BoxyCharm with the Pure Palette. So that's, this is like a BoxyCharm look pretty much. And by the way, now that I have my face on and everything, it looks, the eye look looks really put together and I'm really excited about it. So what I do want to do <laughs> is take a brush, go in with La Costa, which is this shade right here. We're going to put this in the inner corner as well as use it as my highlighter, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's bright enough that we can. I thought I didn't hit record. Wow, I have that fear like almost every video. Also every video. Every single time. Okay, uh, so for blush, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller. What is this? Pink grapefruit that I use every day almost. I love this blush because it goes with literally everything. take the highlighter brush that we got in our boxy charm as well I think it's this one yep 
it's a fat one, which I don't usually use this kind of brush, but we're going to go into that eyeshadow. Yeah, this can definitely... This kind of shows every single texture, though. But that's okay. But I probably wouldn't use this again as a highlighter. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to use this, and then... go into the pure sculpting palette and I'm going to take the lighter highlighter in here and then we blend. We also take a little bit of that highlighter and we put it on our nose. That was kind of a lot of bit highlighter but whatever. We're gonna fix that spot. Apparently, I need new more Q tips because there's not any in there except for one. Okay, then I'm gonna bronze with the whoop, with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I have quite the dip in there, which you will totally not be able to see. Please hold while I bronze the crap out of my face. My favorite step. Thank you garbage men for coming right at the end of my video. Come on charge. Hold out until I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna straighten my hair and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys like it. Here is what it looks like with my eyes closed. It's definitely a tie-dye Caribbean kind of vibe, and I just love that for the summer. I think it's so pretty. I did use the Ofra lippy that we got in our boxy charm as well. I've been using this like all week, ever since I got it, pretty much straight through. This is in the shade Verona, and it's a really nice nude. It looks a little bit darker on the lips than in the tube, but that's okay with me. I think it really pulls the look together. And yeah, don't forget to go check out Donna's look. I know you guys will love her channel. She's really, really funny. You guys will love her. Um, and if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. And I look forward to having you watch my videos from now on. But anyway, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone!